I was in a, a situation, I gotta talk about it. Can we admit, hey, if you got any problems that you got going on, don't worry about nobody else. Can we say that? Worry about your problems, right? Right, 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 right. I was riding down, you know, La Brea, and you know, me and my little snow bunny, and um, <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> we ride, right? And, I noticed a little domestic dispute in the car, in the, in the other car next to me. And a dude and his girl was going at it. In the midst of him going at it with his girl, he hollered off and slapped his girl. Now me being the dude that I am, I'm like, yo, I yell out the window, yo, don't hit her no more. You feel me? My thug shit. You feel me? Don't hit her no more, right? He told me, mind your business, and slaps his girl again. Now, I felt like that one was intended for me. You know what I'm saying? I felt like I, felt like I caused that one, right? That was my fault. That was my bad, right? So we arguing going down the street. Right? We arguing going down the street. You know, L.A. traffic. You know, you come to a screeching halt quick, right? We stop. Buddy jumps out the car. He's like, we stop now. What you want to do? Now, as I assess the situation, right? <laughs> you gotta be able to assess. Break it down, right? Okay, I looked at Buddy. Buddy, about, he was about six, three, six, four, okay? You know, I'm about 5'11 with these Jordans on, okay? Like, I looked at baby girl as, as well, and by this time, her eye had began to swell and then it dawned on me that I don't really even know this bitch. So it's like, really all I could do is pray for her. You know what I'm saying? Like, she get out of that situation. I told Snow Bunny, sit back. You know what I'm saying? Because you about to get, you know? <laughs> Worry about yourself. Worry about yourself. Sometimes I don't know what that man going through, okay? I gotta go. Uh, <laughs> I do want to let you know the set was brought to you by two edibles, so you know we are <laughs> we here on the cloud. Um, if you guys got Instagram, Facebook, anything like that, holla at me, uh, Justin Uncut. Every time I tell somebody my my Instagram, they I gotta always get somebody to come up to me after the show asking me, "Are you circumcised?" I don't know. <laughs> And they always reference the airplane joke. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, okay, nigga. But before I go, I just want to say this. Uh, do you guys Netflix and chill in here by any chance? Nobody? The rest of y'all clap cheeks. All right, cool. All right, all right. I can't wait for my favorite show to come back. you probably seen it. Squid Games. Did anybody see Squid Games? I watched it three times. Uh, nobody told me about the damn subtitles the first two times, right? I was bowing at the TV all Korean every time it came on, but if you didn't watch it, I'm about to ruin it for you. It's this part where a husband and a wife have to do a challenge against one another, and the husband ultimately kills his wife. If you watch it with your girl like I watched it with mine, my girl was real mad. <laughs> I can't believe you watch these unrealistic shows. I can't believe this dude just really just killed his wife for $44 million. <laughs> the entire time I'm looking at her like, what, that's crazy, that is crazy. <laughs> it's crazy, baby. She come back at me hostile. What you trying to say, you really killed me for $44 million? I said, baby, I kill you for two million, okay? Uh, we being honest. Hey, man, I'm Justin Elliott. You guys be blessed.